How you doing guys? This is Doc, docdetecting.com. So out in the beautiful Arizona desert, gorgeous day. It's really nice here in November. No, no, I can't even say it. November. Okay. A lot of guys want to know why I wear snake gaiters. I'll tell you primarily the reason I wear them. I wear them to keep myself from getting uh, jabbed in the leg by cactus. But there's another reason I wear them. Because every once in a while, you run into something that isn't so obvious. Okay, anything in that picture that's obvious to you? All right, well, let me show you a little closer here. Is it more obvious now? Huh? How about right in there, like right there? Little rattler just waiting for you to walk by, not seeing him if you're on the top of that hill, if you're up here and happen to step down, guess what? He's going to bite you right in the calf, right in the back of the leg. And not because he's trying to hurt you, it's because he's trying to protect himself and he doesn't know what you're all about. But anyway, see, he's all posed in there ready to strike. And uh, I didn't actually spot him either. He was coming across the road and decided to curl up right there in that little nesting spot. And we're going to leave him right alone because we don't mess with the the uh, eco system out here. They eat uh, a lot of rats and and mice, and they keep everything in balance. I just don't want them biting me. So anyway, think about getting yourself some gators that protects you. Uh, facts are that 90% of all snake bites happen below the knee. And of those 90%, 90% happen on the instep of your foot. So that's why these are sort of good, because they cover the instep. But like I said, what happened if you were right on top of that little thing coming down there, maybe a metal detecting, and you step off there, and he nails you right in the back of the cap. Take a look at this from right up here. Okay, now, unless you are super, super, well, no, not even if you're super observant, you can't see him at all. And yet he's right there. And you'd, you'd be more concerned about making sure you dunked, un, du, dunked, ducked under that branch than you would be about where you're stepping because that's just a short step. Okay, so as you're making sure you don't crack your head there, you step down and get nailed in the back of your calf with a rattlesnake. So anyway, just uh, just a word of warning. You know, everybody thinks, oh, oh, you'll see them. You'll see them before, you, before they ever see you. Well, not necessarily so. And I have a feeling he looks like that's his, uh, his perfect little perch in there. He must probably just sit there and wait for... You know, rabbits or other little things to cross the road, or maybe uh, lizards, and he takes them out. All right, guys, Doc, DocDetecting.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.